Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern. I am here with the ever fabulous Eric Allen. He's one of our favorite makeup artists. We're here in LA doing a photo shoot with Kaya Wright. And I was just in the back room with Eric and I said, Eric, what are your three favorite tools? And you said, that's pretty funny. A lot of people ask you that. So we are here to talk about that. Eric, um, show us what you got. Okay. Firstly, I have a blending brush. Um, it looks like a toothbrush, but it's very soft. I call this my magic eraser because you can use this to apply your foundation, to apply your powder, to um, blend your concealer. It sort of makes the skin look like it's airbrushed. So I just, I just wanted to show this. This is like, um, what is it made out of? It's what a synthetic that? fiber. Um, it looks like um, sort of a plush velveteen, but it's actually um, synthetic hairs. Um, that give you a very, very soft effect. All right, so where would someone get that and how much is it, that kind of stuff? Well, you can get it at um, the sort of famous uh, makeup line that begins with an M for around $80. But if you go online, you can find um, these brushes um, by different manufacturers, Korean made, for about $20. Okay, and just show how, we, how you would use it on me, for example. So, I can blend out her blush. Oh, good. I forgot to do that this morning. No, no, it's perfectly done. But if you wanted a more a sheer application or if you put a bit much on, you could go out and blend that. And actually, and I have to say, it really feels good. Feels it feels beautiful. Good. How do you keep it clean? Uh, just use your brush cleaner or um, your favorite shampoo and let it air dry. Okay. All right. Number two. Okay. Number two is a bore bristle brush. Hang okay. Look at that there. Yeah. And this is just a little brush I use to brush up the brows. And also, since I work on a lot of hair shoots, sometimes when they cut the hair, there's little hairs on the skin. This works as a perfect magnet. It just sort of picks up the hair off the skin. Okay, and again, where do you get it? How much? This is actually a mustache brush, okay, and um, I just bought it at um, a beauty supply store that was, uh, you can buy them anywhere, but just make sure that the hairs are a boar bristle. Okay, and again, little demo on Maggie. Go ahead. So if there was like a little bit of a hair, you just attach it uh -oh. to the skin and yeah. it will pick it right up, or you can use it to brush up the brows. Oh, that's so cool. And cleaning, same thing? Same thing. Okay. Number three. Number three. You need a uh, any good brow um, gel. Okay, there's nothing worse than looking at your pictures and seeing the brows um, every which way or one brow that's um, out of place. So using a proper brow gel will assure that the brows are brushed up and they're well groomed. Okay, and again, where do you get it? How much? Many that, that lines means. have them. Um, I'm using the Anastasia brand. Um, you can get it at Sephora or um, their actual online with their mm -hmm. company. Um, but many brands have them. Just make sure that it's a nice gel formulation. Okay, so as long as I have you here and since our models not ready for makeup I want to ask you some questions how do you become a freelance makeup artist I think the main thing is to put yourself out there um, a lot of people go uh, through school and they think they're going to get a job right away but it's about making connections with makeup artists that you um, really admire or the style of makeup artists that you admire so I would um, email them write them uh, uh, suggests being an assistant, making yourself available, um, working for free, um, doing a lot of photo shoots and getting in that network. And once people see your face or familiarize with who you are, they might offer you a job as an assistant. And from those assistant jobs, you are offered jobs that that main makeup artist can't do. So that's a, one of the ways that you can um, get into the industry. Um, and I think the best way you can because not only are you making yourself available and showcasing your skills to the people that you are fond of, you are also, um, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, that's okay. So you're learning from the people that you admire. Oh, that's so. So you're awesome. honing your skills while making yourself available to the industry. Okay, so somebody asked, what is your favorite or best makeup tip? I think my best tip is to go with what you know or 
who that person is sitting in front of you. I think a big mistake is that people have an, uh, the imagery of the makeup design that they want to do and they just go right and do it on the face that's in front of them and sometimes it's not a great fit. So look at the bone structure, look at the skin, what's going to complement um, their hair color, their eye color, their skin tone. Um, if you go with what the person looks like in front of you and use that as your guide, then you usually have a successful um, makeup each time because you're creating a customized makeup for that person instead of um, a look that you thought of beforehand. Okay, and somebody asked about airbrush makeup. How do you feel about that? Um, I, I like it, <laughs> but I'm not a great fan of the cleaning you have to clean in between each color and if I'm doing a lot of skin tones let's say for a runway show and there's um, a lot of the girls that look similar it's great I can just spray and get a beautiful result but if I'm doing a, a more complicated uh, makeup or I have a lot of different models with different skin tones um, it's a little bit difficult you need a different brush for every color pretty much and it's a a bit more of a hassle to get the same effect with my hands. Okay, um, other than this shoot, um, the Modern Salon shoot with Kaya Wright here today, what have been your favorite shoots that you've ever done? Um, last year I was able to work with Katy Perry for um, the Grammys, and I don't know if you saw her um, do the Gation presentation. Well, that was my um, team and myself, and it was uh, beautiful because she let us really explore our creativities. We created rubber brows and um, made a geisha model very modern. So that was, I think, my favorite shoot. Okay, and somebody is very patiently asking, what is your favorite foundation? Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I tend to use that on everyone um, as my base, and if I feel I'll need a little bit more coverage, I'll go in with concealer. But believe it or not, just using that gives me a really beautiful effect. Okay, well, you're, you're, he's the best, isn't he? Yes, I want to see lots of hearts. He is such a great guy. Okay, so a photographer just asked, how do I approach makeup artists? How do I get a makeup artist to come work with me? How do you answer that? Well, I mean, we're in a, just like Periscope is right now, a lot of people have Instagram, they have emails, they have websites. Reach out to them, email them, um, go on their Instagram and say, I really want to work with you, or can I help out? Can I carry your bags? Can I wash your brushes? Um, pretty much everyone is out there. They're a star in and, of them, in and of themselves. So it's really easy to reach out to someone today. Okay, so now we're gonna go, yeah, he doesn't know we're gonna do this. I wanna take you back to how he's set up. Oh gosh. Oh, he's gonna be so mad. <laughs> to what his setup is like, oh, your assistant ran over, she, she's prepping, no, we gotta get there before she goes. All right, so come on, we're gonna follow you, and I'm gonna double tap this so we can follow this. Nope, well, whatever, I don't know how to do that. So we're all still kind of learning Periscope. So here we are, we're in the studio, mm -hmm. and now we're going to the makeup area. Which, oh, there's Kaya right. We're getting to later. Ooh. We're getting to Kaya right later. Yeah, that's so cute. Yeah, wait, I think she's got black eyes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I said to Kaya, I said, we won't do anything until you have your eyelashes on. Oh, you got, so, I so got we my can lashes. I got my lashes, so I'm cute. Okay, so we're going to talk to Kaya in a few minutes, but let's just see your setup here. Tell us how you set up um, the way you do, and I'm going to try and double. Here's your setup. Talk to us. Well, it's a bit of a mess right now because I. <laughs> was like picking through to find my three favorite things. But I generally um, like to keep things uh, in bags because as you see, I have a lot of makeup. So keeping them in bags somewhat keeps me organized, but I'm an artist at first, I went to art school. So I tend to sort of throw everything down and then sort of pick up its uh, sort of organized chaos. All right, well, I kind of love it. I'm coming back here. All right, I don't know how to do this, so I just want to say goodbye. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kaya. We'll talk to you later, and you guys have a great day. We'll see you. Bye.